Feel that little tingle back of your neck? That's your soul. It's time for humanity to stand up because evil, evil is coming down on our children. Evil is coming down on our communities. Evil is coming down on us with all their plagues and all their disease and all their corruption that they gained power out of. And it's time for humanity to stand up in the info war and say, I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this, but you want to fight? You better believe you got one! I can't tell you, and I'm going to get to this in a moment, how many people tell me, I can't believe you did this and you did that, aren't they going to get you? Listen, these enemies are weak. And the minute you don't care if they kill you, they lose all their power. I don't want to die. I love life a lot. I want to stay with my wife and children. But you kill me, you only give this system against you ten times the power. And that's why they haven't killed me yet, because they know it. So you have the power. Humanity has the power. We have the power. What would make these criminals put poisons in our food and water to try to blind us and fog our vision? Because they're scared of you. The crooks know how humans work. They know the secret of humanity, but they seek to hide it. They seek to block you from ever fully developing. They seek to block you from ever becoming who you really are because they're scared of you. And always remember that. That's the secret. Radio for the Pirates. The Pirates of the Insulates exposing the real terrorists. Hi guys and welcome uh, back to an on UK and Ireland uh, radio with uh, Ajax, Gizm, a non online and the one and only artist taxi driver, Chunky Mark. Say hello everybody. You alright? You alright? <laughs> you alright? Oh, fucking hell. Right, let me just I turn know, me volume. You know, it's really, I feel, I feel like I've, I've made it now. I feel like, like I've moved on, I've, I've, I've made it into the big time. This is serious stuff. Imagine, like, I can't even believe I'm on anonymous radio. <laughs> Nick and I. <laughs> this is it now. This is my card's been marked. I've checked under the car. I've seen, I've looked out for signals. <laughs> it's all over now. We're postal certificate. Ajax is kind of our Jimmy Savage. Oh, no. He's what? What? <laughs> He's who? He's... Oh, damn. Oh, s- what are we talking about on here? What do you want to talk about, Mark? Let's do it random. Off the head. Okay, hip. you seen those fuckers in fucking Germany? <laughs> what fuckers are they? Right, I'm going to tell you something now. It's just, it's in the news. It's, it's, even, 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 you might even think I'm winding you up. You might think I'm winding you up. Amazon in Germany have employed, or, or ARD television in Germany have done this sort of like undercover documentary where, where Amazon, are employing immigrant workers, and they have they have a security company called Hess, as in Herman <laughs> Hess, not the, not 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 no, what's his name, the Adolf Hess, the, the the Nazi, the fucking Nazi, not the one who wrote about Buddha, the Nazi Hess. They got Hess Security. The guy who runs it is a known football right wing Nazi, and they 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 have got the immigrants. It pugged up in in a budget hotel with this security firm looking after them, raiding their bedrooms. So it is fucking, it is mental, mate. Fucking, gee, that is Amazon. Amazon. That's shocking. Rudolph Hess. That's the fucker. Rudolph Hess. Rudolph Hess. But you you you've you've got a company that is courted by 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 governments around the world that is allowed. Fucking tax avoiders, people, people, David Cameron and the fucking government, whenever they say Amazon, they're talking about they're making jobs. They ain't even making jobs. They're taking jobs. They shut down everything. The only way they make a fucking profit, the only way they make a profit is, is, is by, is by tax avoiding and by using, imagine using immigrant workers 
Marshall Police. So this undercover team, this undercover team booked into the budget hotel and got pulled by the security firm and they started steaming into them and they was trying to get their cameras off them. They were fighting back. The police, they, they held them. The police had to come and release them. Nazi fucking Nazi security guards. This is you. You know, you know, a lot of the time when you're on, when I'm doing like the rants and I'm shouting and and you say things like this. This is like half the time you're joking. You know, if I say <laughs> if I say the queen is like she's got hairy goat legs, she's a fucking she got hooves. Oh. You think people think yeah yeah yeah. Like you, you know, there is there is there is some joking going on, but you 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 have to understand that these she's married to her fucking she's married to her cousin who was married to her cousin who's fucking Nazis. They are real Nazis. Don't get away from it. They are fucking Nazis. She rubber stamped the welfare reform bill, all that shit that's coming through now. She rubber stamped the NHS bill. She sold it off. She's got fucking shares. She has shares in the Bank of England. She has something like trillions of fucking pounds. She's out. She has shares in gold mining in Africa. She owns a sixth of the world. Saying she's a hairy goat legged fucker is like <laughs> it's some way because 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 if you say it, if you say it, they say no, not the Queen. They're not the Queen because she's she's like look at her because pe people love her. They love her. They 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 love the flat. They, they think she's amazing. She owns every, do you know, she is the single most powerful person in the world, apart from the black Pope, Ignatius Loyola. But apart from him, she's the most powerful person in the world. Powerful than the head, because the American, the, the president, he only, it's only a term of office. It's a birthright with her. It's a fucking birthright. She's the head of a church. She's, she, she's the head of a fucking bank. She's the head of a a, 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 a Geordie Cockney army that runs around the world raping and pillaging. She knights people. She puts her fucking sword on people. People bow down. The fucking American president is on his fucking knees to the Queen of fucking England. She is, she is, she is, she is fucking omnipotent. So to say she's got hairy goat legs and fucking hooves, that ain't, that ain't joking. That is not a joke. That is fucking real. That is, that is, that is like a metaphor for her uh, uh, omnipotence, because the way, the way that that, that that you have the jubilee, she came out of a fucking helicopter with James fucking Bond, mate. You do not like that. The whole world saw it and fucking laughed. They loved it. They were like, oh my fucking god. And every single broadcaster, journalist, they're like, they 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 wept. They fucking wept when she jumped out of that fucking helicopter. That's the fucking Olympics. That is embedded on people's brains. James fucking Bond and the Queen. They couldn't believe it. And 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 she she she's she's like she is she 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 kills people. She gets people killed. They start false wars in her name. Any one of those soldiers will fucking tell you they will not fight for a government. They hate fucking politicians. They fight. They fight and they kill in foreign fucking lands for Her Majesty the Queen. They do it not for, they do it for her. First of all, they say Queen and country. Fucking Harry, Harry's out there in his fucking Apache helicopter. They're all fucking having organs. They can't fucking believe he's out fucking shooting men with fucking beards in the desert. They don't even, they don't even know what they're doing. They're fucking, they're, 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 they're yeah, massacring children. They're fucking invading fucking foreign lands. They, they, they got no right to go anywhere because the only thing they're doing is fucking, is, is, is power. It's they, they want the gold. They want the oil. That's what it's about. And make no mistakes. We have a fucking shocking government that is, that is, that is awful to the, to the fucking people. The, 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 the disabled, the vulnerable, the fucking elderly. They want your pension money, the taxes. But that is every fucking government of the world do that. But we own all the governments of the world. I was in a house with a woman today from Ethiopia. She say it's shocking over there. She say the taxes are just robbing their fucking bandits. But the British are over there. They got a fucking gold mine in Ethiopia. The British are fucking everywhere. Every single road, school and hospital in this country is built on the debt and death of others around the world. 
Every fucking country in Africa, they, 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 they will massacre people so that fucking the corruption of London and the fucking, and the stock exchange and these fucking people that gamble in markets, rich people gambling on whether people live or die on fucking grain, on bread. Bread is fucking life. And they, they, they control the whole fucking food chain. It's all fucking, that's why I was doing that thing today. It's all fake. All the food's fake. It's fucking, it's invented. It's been made in a fucking laboratory. They won't go to McDonald's and start fucking analysing their fucking burgers. There's got more fucking chemicals in there. If you knew the truth about fucking, about half the things that you eat, if they put truth on fucking labels, it's fucking, it's fake food, <coughs> fake government, fake police, fake judiciary. It's a fucking, it, it, it's the, the whole, it's, it's simulation. The whole fucking world is simulation. That's John Baldriard, famous philosopher, he said that, 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 that Disneyland was actually real and Los Angeles was a fucking fake. He said the Los Angeles is a fake because the fucking, the lives that we lead are fucking, they're controlled, manipulated. This land that we got now, these cities that we built, the fucking industrial civilization, there's nothing for people to do. They, they've invented cities with meaningless fucking jobs, making stuff. Making stuff that, that they make to be obsolete. They're not, they're not connected with the land, with the terror. They fucking killed the North American indigenous Red Indians. They're fucking, they don't even have a fucking national holocaust day for them. Fucking Abraham Lincoln, he fucking freed the slaves. He killed all the fucking Indians. He didn't give a fuck about the Indians. Well, they celebrate they it with Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving don't they? Diver. They celebrate it by doing Thanksgiving, don't they? No, 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 no. Thanksgiving's not. They always say that. Look it up. Look it up what it says about Thanksgiving. I said it the other day. Everyone say, what about Thanksgiving? What about fucking... Look at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is about food. It's about fucking... It's not about the indigenous North American Red Indians. This whole fucking... The world is fucked up. The world is backwards. And people say, you're always in your fucking car, shouting, swearing. What are you going to do? That's what I say. What am I going to do? What are you fucking going to do? Owen Jones is out saying, come on, we got to stop this. You can't, these people are relentless. They, 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 their power, their fucking thing. But it is, it's the only thing you can do is, and it's, it's fucking corny, but you offer a resistance. Anonymous, fucking UK uncut, all the fucking, all the students, the people, the, the, the disabled people, Deepak, they are fucking, they are, they, they are legendary because they go out and they put their fucking, they put their liberty at risk by standing up to these fuckers. They quash every single protest. There is like, look at the protest we had. We hadn't had a protest for a year now. They had some sort of like fucking union shit. But like, we don't, it's, it's impossible because you, you know that normal people who would resist this, good people, there is fucking, there is millions of good people in this fucking country that, that is had enough. You see it all the time on a social network. This is fucking shit. But it's hard to mobilize them because it's like, what the fuck are they going to do? Because they turn up and they have their pit bulls. They have fucking, they have agent provocateurs. They have fucking cameras. They come around your ass. They dig you out. They have a fucking, they, they have a mission to destroy every fucking ridicule people, set them up. The only thing, Anonymous is a really good fucking practice. Some lunatics involved, but lots of people, the, the, the philosophy of Anonymous is fucking spot on. And, and they defend the poor people. They're like the fucking, the, 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 the people, the, the people in the school playground that sticks up to the fucking bullies that are walking around beating kids up. And that's what it's about. That's why like, like, I'm, I, I'm an artist. That's what I do. I just do art. But I see, I see it like, like, like as as a as a, as a way of carrying a message or a vocation that I think that like like that 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 people have to st the disabled are fucking standing up by themselves against these pigs. The disabled are chaining themselves. They was the only ones protesting in the last year. They're fucking incredible people, and they're, they're and they're, and, they're, and they're being abused and they're being fucking and 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 the people. The whole thing is just. It's just, just not me. That's what people are scared of. But most people ain't even got a fucking chance because they're out there, they're, they're fucking, they're nurses, they're teachers, they're fucking working long hours and they come back home. They got their own families. They got their own rent to play. They got their own relationships. They got their own fucking, 
hardships and things to get on with. They can't afford to get involved in politics. They ain't got the time. They ain't got the fucking energy. They're just trying to survive. And that's when they know these fuckers have got you. Because bringing in fucking Nazi guards to look after Amazon. The media's involved. We have a corrupt media, corrupt judiciary, corrupt police. Oh. <laughs> I'm sweating now. <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel the fucking virus. I've been asked, to, I've been asked uh, by somebody who goes by the name, uh, commonly known as Cake, wants to know what you think about North Korea. North Korea? But then the only thing you think about North Korea is who's fucking nuts when you look at the fucking, the Royal Jubilee, her sailing down on the barge and all the fucking, you got, you, you got a route lined with people waving flags. You would think that someone's just walked on and injected them with a fucking serum straight into their brain. They look fucking brain dead. And then they ship down a load of fucking work there, people, just put them under a bridge and she's going up and down on a barge. It's a fucking joke. Worry about North Korea. Worry about over here. The North Koreans, they, 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 they definitely fucking lost the plot, aren't they? They're, they. But you can't, you can't go around fucking, I don't know, <coughs> saying don't fucking. You can't build a bomb. We got fucking bombs. We fucking use them. That's why they're saying they got fucking. Oh, you'll be really careful because they got fucking chemical weapons. Say, so, yeah, that, that Syria might have chemical weapons. You say, yeah, we fucking got them and we used them. We used them. That's why people in fucking in, in, in Iraq are fucking being born deformed because of the fucking depleted uranium. I've got a couple of questions for you, actually, Mark. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, what does swan taste like? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of it's kind of tough. It's um, it was grey. Will 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 Self was there and he brought along some marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> the the, R, the RSPCA turned up and confiscated the fucking the the, the bird. All oh, right. <laughs> that feeling that it tastes like goose for some reason. Don't know why, but. Yeah, yeah, it does. But not that I've ever eaten goose. But no, it, no. It, it, so it could be. Like but they're fucking, yeah. the chickens, the chickens, you know that they breed them. My friend, right, he worked in a, in a, in a fucking chicken um, uh, coop. It's like 200 <laughs> metres long. There's line after line and the chickens are in cages and they, and they shit and they burn their fucking feet off. And his job was to go in and get the rats. The hole underneath these cages are about a foot off the floor. And you had to walk on these wooden wooden pallet type things. And there was rats everywhere. They put all the lights on. And they, he saw the rats gnawing at the <coughs> fucking, fucking stumps. And you eat oh. them. Fucking good. Fucking fucking. Um, another question. Right, This is one from one of our listeners, actually. Um, you might have seen a tweet, but it's from um, one of our listeners called At With It Pause. Yeah. And uh, she wants to know, right, that... Uh, uh, how you feel about the fact that her 13-year-old son uh, listens and watches your videos? Well, I, th I, th I think, like, um, uh, morally, I think, like, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's really difficult because I, I, I would never swear in front of my son. I think swearing, it's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? What do you do? Because children, they're, they're so innocent. It's hard to, like, you know, you have to educate them, but I suppose... If, if, if it's okay, it's only language, the only utterances, the only words, I think it's everyone's decision to, to kind of like, you know, if you want to, because there's always a limit, isn't there? There's always, there's always limits. It's always like that you shouldn't be talking about, um, um, well, you know, quite descriptive fucking bad things or. Maybe, yeah, well, I, you know, yeah, I kind of. Kind of mixed. I kind of said that and much prefer my 13 year old George Bush. Yeah. Uh, watching our government beat protesters over the head with clubs. I mean, there's uh, violence and there's things, you know, there's, there's people sitting on their fucking, on their computers witnessing all sorts of things. But I think as a, as a parent, I think you, you do have, you do have sort of like a kind of uh, responsibility to, you know, I mean, I mean, my, my, my children are really sweet, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's quite, um, uh, I would, I don't know. It's difficult, isn't it? Because it, you, you, you can't really, you, you can't really, I, I don't, I don't believe, I think everyone's got their own right to, to like, 
guide their children and uh, how because everyone and everyone wants a chance do you know what i mean i worry about my kids i think to myself i already start worrying like you know fucking hell is he going to end up like me because like when i first when i was first going out there i was really hedonistic i had a, like, i got out really early and i thought fuck this shit and i was off i mean i i mean we all know everyone who's who, who's out there, who's kind of a little bit, they, you could be dead, and you're like, I should have been dead loads of times. How I didn't die. How, you know I mean? <laughs> how, um, how, um, I wasn't in jail for, for life, dog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, another, another <laughs> couple of questions, good. just quickly. Um, it's a two part question, actually. The first part is, uh, what do you think of, uh, Julian Assange? The second part is kind of related to that. Uh, Julian Assange is now going for Senate in Australia. And good chances he's going to probably be voted in. Um, when are we going to see you apply to Parliament? Uh, because I think Chris, uh, Prime Minister's question time is fucking awesome. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you're going to see me going, going to be like in Parliament or voting or taking part in any sort of like shit like that. So I was talking to, to I think it's Ajax before, and there was this. I, I remember seeing this um, uh, woman in um, uh, in America, partly occupied. And they were saying to her, you know, you're doing so well here. Now you, you, you should run for, for the Senate or, you know, you should run to be, to be the governor or the mayor or whatever. Why don't, why don't, why don't you put yourself forward? And she looked at him and she said, that's not what we're about. We don't do that because the first thing they're going to do to me is look into my past, look into my family. The only thing they want to do is fucking destroy me. The yeah, first yeah. thing they want to do is destroy you. You know, they're not interested in, in, in what opinions you got. They, 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 they want to know your fucking, they want to know your darkest secrets. Do you know what I mean? And if you ain't got any, they'll make some fucking up. Do you know what I mean? Because everyone has a political agenda in that media shit. They're all sort of like the, the fucking, they'll get you. Do you know what I mean? And that woman was right. She's right. No, this isn't, yeah, this yeah. isn't about fucking elected people. You can't, you, you, that's shit that is. What you want is you want things like, uh, direct democracy. I know it's in, they have cantons and things like that in Switzerland. You don't need fucking elected officials. It's corruption. Even if you was going to have an elected official, you wouldn't have them lifed off. You can't be a fucking politician for, for your entire life. You should be from the local community. You should be like a fucking doctor or a teacher or a nurse. You should get one term and that's it. You're out. You shouldn't be like able to like, to like influence. You shouldn't come from fucking from the upper class. What the fuck is all that shit? That's a, it's a fucking, it's rigged. It's fucking fake. You don't even, it's not even a democracy. How's it a democracy when they, when they make like a Tory donor and they make him like a schools minister and give him like 73 million pound contract, workfare contract. Next minute he's a lord. The fuck is that? He's in the government. Well, unelected people, Lord Green, a fucking Mexican drug cartels, fucking smuggler. He's in the government. You can't make that shit up. How's that? How's that a democracy? <coughs> Hollywood loves that. I saw, that I saw Julian Assange once. Have you ever seen the video? No. It, you know, it was the very, it was the very first day of, um, of Occupy. In um in St Paul's, so it was that it was that that day when everyone turned up and they got pushed into Paternoster Square. Yeah, I was, I was driving in my car and I was going. I could see St Paul's in front of me, and people was walking away, and I was in my car with my son, and he just walked out in front of my car like fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It was Julian fucking Assange. And he had, he had that, that, there's a video of it online on YouTube. And he had, he had that brown leather jacket that's got no collar. And he stood there and he just looked. He stood right in front of the bonnet of my car. I was driving in the middle of the road and he just stood there and he was just looking at some Paul's. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Second Second coming. Coming. It was like a fucking. It was like a, a like an apparition. It was like an apparition. Wow. Yeah, like 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 the Virgin Mary, like bleeding from the hands. 
<laughs> have a look at the video. It's really, really scary. It's quite, it's quite, it's, it's quite creepy. Do you, what do you, what do you all think about Julian Assange? At first or now? <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think lots of opinions think, have changed. When, when, when Julian Assange first come out and he was doing like, he was fucking. They, 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 they couldn't get enough of him. You saw the Guardian. You saw that Alan Rusberger. Alan Rusberger said that he stayed with him 24 hours through the night. He was just telling. He said he couldn't believe this guy. He just come out of nowhere. And some of the things that he exposed then, they've all been lost. All been lost. No one's, no one's. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure sometimes what they're, what, what, they're, what they're doing. They're the, um, what are they called again? WikiLeaks. Oh, Wiki yeah, WikiLeaks. Yeah, are, are, are they are they are they still leaking stuff? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I believe they're still running the leak platform. Yes. Yeah, yeah. they've got a big. Uh, they're going to be doing those leaks this year, I think. But that's why they got uh, Julian got a bit of a uh, stick from Anonymous as well, from across the pond, sort of thing. Yeah, I mean it's really difficult because there's a lot of you know, it's really it, sometimes like everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone can say what they want to say. You look at people like fucking, I don't know. There, there, there's there's people in the houses of parliament that are good people. I ain't saying that like like I would ever vote for them. But I know, I know John McDonnell, he's a good fucking guy. He goes out, he stands up every fucking time. He's anti-war. Do you know him, John McDonnell? No, I don't know, no. He's a, he's a fucking blinder. You know, no, no, there are people, there are people that, that have, that you know are good people, but there ain't enough of them. You know, there's other people that are like fucking, you know, but everyone's different and everyone's got faults and everyone's fucked up. Do you know what I mean? We all know, like, there's no way that you can say that anyone's perfect. And that, and, and people shouldn't look for that in people. You know, no one's perfect. And, and, and when things come out and they start saying, oh, I fucking knew that. What a fucking, you know, that, that, that's kind of like, you know, people are waiting for that. People are waiting for that. Somebody's asked there, uh, what's your uh, thoughts on Jimmy Savile and the BBC? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around, especially around like fucking people you ain't allowed to talk about. There's stuff going around like, you know, they, and they say, well, if you've got anything, just go to the police. And you like think you are fucking joking. Imagine telling someone, you know, when, when I, when I, when I wasn't very well and, um, I ended up like, I, I was, anyway, I was in a group of people and they were talking. And they were talking about their fucking what happened in their life. And this guy is fucking tough. He's tough. He wasn't long, he, you know, he's not out of prison that long. And he starts to tell a story about when he was, when he was in a home, when he was being, when he was, you know, he got left behind by his mum and dad and that. And he was there with his little brother. And it, and it, and they were, they was getting like, they was fucking getting it from the staff. And his brother was crying and he had to tell him to, like, you know, to be a man and that. And he's, like, fucking 12 years old and his brother's 10. You know, you can, I, I, I saw, I, you know, even though how hard this guy is, I saw him. Do you know what I mean? He was fucking in bits. Is this the guy that was on Channel 4 and that? No, this is fucking my friend. Oh, God. This oh. is my friend who's, like, who, 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 who suffered abuse as a child and his brother suffered abuse. The worst thing that he fucking, the worst thing that happened to him was that he couldn't protect his fucking brother. He couldn't protect his brother. Do you know what I mean? This guy's life is being fucking ruined, abandoned by his parents, fucking put into a home, then abused, end up in a fucking system, fucking into all sorts of shit, in fucking in and out of prison, long fucking sentences. It's shocking. It's fucking... It's absolutely shocking. And I always say, like, Jimmy Savile is a fucking paedophile. The, the, the Cyril Smith is a paedophile. It's like the hacking. You got, you, 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 you got like <coughs> policemen going up and, and, and intentionally getting the phone numbers. You know, a policeman is supposed to be there to care. He's intentionally going up and getting a phone number of a dead girl's parents or dead girl's parents. So he can give that phone number to a newspaper to listen in. 
All of that is fucking despicable, heinous fucking darkness. Jimmy Savile was out fucking doing things in fucking, in, in, in morgues. But all of those people, all of that evilness, it pales into significance when you think about the conspiracy to cover that up. And they, they, my friends, are the real fucking, they are the real sickos. You got people, you got people in the BBC who, who will not expose things. Why? Because they're fucking scared it might look bad on them. You got people in the government. You got fucking every single one of them. David Cameron, George Osborne, Boris Johnson, fucking Tony Blair, all of those fuckers. Theresa May, William Hague, Michael Gove, Jeremy Hunt, all of them are involved in a conspiracy to cover up the hacking so that Rupert Murdoch could push through a B Sky B bid. They would not say they 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 knew the fucking police. I'm not even talking about the police that stole the numbers. I'm talking about the fucking commissioner, I'm talking about Yates. They had them notes for fucking ten years. They covered that up. The conspiracy the conspiracy is worse than the act. You know, like if you go out and you commit a conspiracy to burgle, you're fucking, that is serious. This is a conspiracy to cover up pedophiles. Jimmy fucking Savile. The BBC should be taking the cleaners. Fucking Esther Ransom, Janet Street Poor, all those fuckers. They should be dragged out and fucking brought be- Well, I, I don't know, even know whether people should be sent to jail. They should be dragged out and fucking <laughs> sorted out. Probably. But like, the, the, you know, the, the people, the people that are fucking, that, that are involved in a conspiracy to cover up pedophiles, that is fucking shocking. Shocking. You know, and that, that, that's people who swear oaths. That's the police, the government. Jimmy Savile's a wretch. He's fucking a wretch, mate. You got, you, you got, you got to understand that he's like fucking, he's, he's subhuman. He's like fucking gone. You know, you, you couldn't even imagine what he was up to. Fuck no. <laughs> There's <clears throat> too many high-level people in there um, threatened by this. That's why they cover it up. Yeah, but that's why that's what they 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 <clears throat> hide they hide behind the cloak of conspiracy because what they what they do is they all fucking they all do the they, they all do the thing. It's like yeah, we learn the lessons. It's like fucking all the inquiries, the fucking the cover. Up. It's it's fucking it's enormous. That's why I done that video. We need one big motherfucker inquiry. There's so much fucking. There's so much scandal. There is so much skullduggery. You know, it is absolutely fucking enormous. It's enormous. And the biggest fucking coup is, 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 is them to get fucking away with it. Get away with the conspiracy to cover it up. You know, MI5, that's Cyril Smith. He's a fucking another abuser. And he was an MP. They all knew about that. You watch reruns of that fucking yes prime minister and you go back and you start looking, right? When, when, when that Humphrey's saying, no, oh, yeah, we got something on him. He was with some boys and that. You fucking, that, that, that's the truth. Do you know what I mean? That, that's not a fucking even a wind up. And they cover that up all the fucking time because they don't want to look bad. Same as the BBC. Yeah, uh, true. Uh, I've got a quick question <coughs> for you. Uh, commonly known as Cake is asked, uh, Mr. Taxi Driver, what, do you agree legalising all drugs is the way to cut down on in drug related crime? Drugs and crime. We're talking about drugs and crime. Yeah. Do you agree with legalising all drugs is the way to uh, cut down in drug, <coughs> in drug related crime? I did. I mean, I've been in like I know about drugs, and I know that like like a lot of people, it, it, it's it's a disease, mate. You know, people, people, people involved in, 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 in burglaries, people involved in robbing their own families, people involved in fucking, in all sorts of, 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 of acts of desperation. They don't do it out of choice. They do it out of necessity. When that gets a grip of you, when you get fucking, you, 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 you you're, you're like your, your physical body, but your mental fucking state. It's fucking diagnosed as a mental illness. These people should be helped, not fucking locked up. Most, most people, if you take them out of society, you're fucking, you, 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 you know, they don't need to be in that type of institution, an institution where there's more drugs, an institution where there's violence. They need to be in a the nurturing. They need to be cared. They need to be doing fucking art therapy, not fucking, fucking like, 
stand in fucking line and like locked up for 23 hours a day, one hour fucking exercise. The people who people who take drugs, it's fucking hard. Do you know what I mean? The people don't do that. Cho- the funny thing was, was actually when I was fucking using, I didn't even think I was like, I thought I was all right. I thought I was all right. I thought it's everyone else, but it's like only, you know, when you, when you, when you start to fucking, drugs and crime is like, like they, they, it's a business. You listen to some music and you listen to some words. You listen to a Kayla fire in a booth. He talks about it. It's a fucking business. Do you know what I mean? They profit from it. The fucking, you look at, they, they got half the fucking heroines coming out of Afghanistan anyway. It was only when yeah, the Taliban was in when they stopped fucking making heroin. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. I remember seeing that on the news. One point they said uh, uh, Taliban had cut heroin ninety percent, and then, then what, you know, I think about a year later they were saying how the Taliban, you know, the, the Americans had got in and cut down the tal- um, heroin production because the Taliban had, had thrived upon it. And stuff. Things were not all the same. It was against their religion. <laughs> One thing. And um, last year, you're saying the complete opposite. So it's all bollocks. It's like Vietnam when they were transporting the heroin back in the bodies of fucking dead GIs and stuff. It's awful. You don't want that shit to get grippy. It's fucking, it, it, it's, you're slowly committing suicide. You're fucked. You're in bits. But I think, I think some of the crime which has associated it is like fucking minimal, minimal compared to some of the fucking raping and pillaging going on by the fucking bankers. I mean, that's just a fucking, they're like most of them are coked out of their fucking heads, up, we're looking at lap dancing, they're all off their fucking sheds all of the time. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're like, they're, they, they, you ain't gonna see one of them jailed. They're not fucking, they, they, they're, they're. Yeah, I got, I got a, Mark, got a two part question here. Going back to you, um, <laughs> How does how does your uh, your friends take take you? I mean, are they on your side? Do they listen to you? Do they uh, or do you have to change your attitude with them at all? I've got that. I I I like. I've never had really a lot of friends actually. Oh. I, I I had a lot of time where I went out and like I have had a couple of friends over my life, but I don't yeah. think I've got any. Like I wouldn't apart from my. Fa- I spend most of my time with my family. Yeah. I think I think like. It's, it's, it's difficult because of like some of the really like mad stuff I've done before, like crawling and rolling and, and, um, do you know, do you know that I've done like these performances before? I know a lot about your performances. Yeah. So like I've done really a lot of fucking mental stuff. Like some of it I should, I like, I made some mistakes, you know what I mean? Some of them was a bit like there was a bit over the top. <laughs> when, did you, when did you when did you wake up? As they say it, you know what 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 do you know when? Yeah, what woke you up? Yeah, it's kind of like I was in art college, so it's like about like well woke up. I knew like fucking 1980 when I left school. I thought Thatcher's here. I thought fucking getting out of here <laughs> and left and went to Spain. Do you know what I mean? Very hedonistic and just like fucked off. But like I've been doing like like things. I was really doing a lot of stuff against like Iraq, against Tony Blair, like in the early, early 2000, 2001, 2002. Yeah. So around about that time, I was doing like, I was rolling and crawling all around fucking parliament. So I was around there a lot and like new people like Brian Hall. I took a petrol can down, tried to set myself on fire in um, parliament square. Like around about the Iraq war. Brian called the police. Oh no, the, the Australian lady. She called the police and the police came over and took the can off me. <laughs> and, then, and then I said, I'm coming back on, on November the 5th, Guy Fawkes night. And they were like, they, they, they put, um, a 72 hour section order out to like not make me do it. But I crawled from <laughs> London to Canterbury on my hands and knees. So I've done a lot of crawling and I lie down in the road for a week being a dead soldier. And I crawled through Wooden Bassett. You crawled through New York, didn't you? Or Washington or something? Yeah, just no, up I just, with President Bush. Bush. Yeah, I had a, like, picture, uh, no, I had a, 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 a mask, George Bush, and I'd kick my ass, and you can kick me. And lots of people <laughs> kick me. Wow. I, th- that I was didn't really know about this. As well, right. that as well. It was, it was, it, it went off there for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was crawling and there was lots of people and then there was these two guys, they were like brothers, they were massive and they had moustaches and American fucking, they were from out of town because New York's quite liberal. And they were shouting, don't kick him in the ass, don't kick him in the ass, you ain't kicking George W in the ass, you're kicking America in the ass. And this woman from the telly, she said, oh, can I ask your opinion? And he swacked her and I thought, I've got to go. Because they were really heavy and they chased me down the road. <laughs> <laughs> they were getting me, they wanted to get me. I just ran off. Wow. <laughs> but it's quite hard because you go and you're doing, you're like these crawling and rolling things in public. You know, people, uh, you know, when I was uh, uh, going through places like Peckham or Eltham, they throw stones at you. What? Really? Kick you. It's, it's dangerous doing performance in public space. Like I did, um, I did one in, in, um, uh, in Stockholm. I did a reenactment of the Abu Ghraib human pyramid. Did you see that one? Nope. So it was a reenactment of, do you know Abu Ghraib where that Lindy, uh, Lindy North, Lindy England, and they, they put all the Iraqi prisoners, and I did it with six teenage girls in the middle of a square in, in, in Stockholm. That was quite good. Wow. And I went wow. to Georgia. I did a project in Georgia. I did a project in Beirut as well. And um went to Brazil. I did a project in Brazil. It was quite nice. It's really I'm really fucking lucky to be an artist. I got like second chance to be to you know, from the previous life that I had. So I kind of got well, got taken into care, and then I went and then I and I enrolled in art college. And you know, like the most incredible thing about art, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. No one can say anything. Do you know what I mean? Do you know art has its own language? You know, it's different from all other forms of media. Like you take cinema, television, literature, theatre. Art has its own language. It can be anything it wants. That's why if you look, if you look and you listen to Terence McKenna and he says, culture is not your friend. Do you know that? Do you know that one? No. Terence McKenna, he say, we are led, we are led by the least amongst us, the least noble, the least visionary. And then he says, culture is not your friend. And then they all say to him, what should we do? What should we do? And he says, make art. That's why, oh, that's why, like, you know, did you see the ballerina pig that I did outside Scotland Yard? <laughs> have you not seen that? No, I don't see that one. Okay, so I got like a really tight pink top on, my belly's out, and I've got like um a ballerina skirt on and tight. <laughs> and I've got a pig nose and um um I start doing ballet outside New Scotland Yard. You should look at that, it's a really good video, it's on it's on YouTube. And I do ballet and the and the police come. But they say to, you know, what are you protesting about? I say, it's not a protest, mate. It's art. I say, there's no law against art, is there? He says, no, there should be. Oh, <laughs> a bloody but They can arrest you for art. That's why, like, I don't go on protest. I do art. So if you do art, there's nothing they can do unless they can hit you with a stick. Are you aware that Anonymous UK kind of marched on Parliament on November the 5th last year? Yeah, yeah, I was. I saw that. That that was like really good video. I don't think I was. I don't think I was around. I was away at that time. Well, we I saw those videos when I got back. They were really good. They we, looked really nice. We plan on doing it again this year. Yeah. That's why we should come and join us. Really nice. All those masks are really nice, isn't it? We'll the whole. We'll have to, we'll have they to are, get you one cent. It's a really good philosophy, and the, and the philosophy, you know, just to be. You know, anonymous. The whole concept of that is is that that's 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 perfect. That's how that's how they should run a fucking government. Do you know what I mean? It should be it should be direct democracy. It's the votes of the people. You can't have these fucking these 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 corrupt pigs in fucking charge. It's, it's fucking outrageous. We need we need we need we we don't need leaders. You really don't need leaders. You ever seen that film Battle of Algiers? And they're like. They have, they have no head. You can't cut the head off. You're fucked. Do you know what I mean? They, they, they don't know what to do. So they, they, they do different things. Some of the things, the, um, the, the hackers and the things like that, 
that do things on anonymous, people look at that and go, that's fucking amazing. There is people out there who think, look at that. That is fucking so, because they go and hit the fucking Israeli government when, 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 when they are attacking Palestine. That is fucking, that is, that is bang on. People are proud of that. They hit MasterCard. They hit people, <coughs> you know, they, they, I, what do you think about the hackers? Do you like the hackers? I love the hackers. You know, you know, it, it's kind of like, it's sticking up for people, isn't it? For the little man. I look exactly. I got, I got people waving at the window for me to come back in, you know. <laughs> no, I think the hackers are the ones. Uh, there's a there's a great speech. It goes with a uh, cult from the Hackers Manifesto, and it kind of. Uh, let me just try and find it quickly because it's uh, it's really good, and I think you'll kind of like it <coughs> if I can just find the damn. Why does everything disappear when you need it? Oh, it's disappeared, hasn't it? Oh well. Um, oh, it's, been, it's been really nice being on here, and I'll come back another time. Oh yeah. Can you just ask one more question, Mark? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, as somebody who's kind of very politically aware, which you are, uh, and a farmer, how do you see UK going in ten years? It's hard. You must have thought about it. it. It's hard. To, it's hard to say because you 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 understand that they're like. There's finite resources. They want more oil. They're going to have to go to Iran. They're, 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 they're kicking things off like over that way already. They're going into North Africa. There is things going to happen. And, you know, these people, these fucking people will live in a nuclear holocaust. They will not fuck around. You know, when they, when they under, they, 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 they've done wars and, and they get away with it. Do you know what I mean? They under, they know what to do. They know how to do it. And they, they got agendas. Who fucking knows what's going to happen? Just so, that's why, like, like you know, you have to seriously think about, like, fucking. Are we? Are we? Are we going to still have a planet? Doesn't that amaze you? Don't you? Do, do you ever think about the planet? And that's just hanging there in space. Yeah, I do a lot actually. Yeah, it's quite it's strange. incredible. Makes you feel quite small, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's like the whole Earth is so heavy, and it's just hanging there. And I said that to someone, and they said it's 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 magnets, and 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 actually it's not that heavy. It's all relative, and that is the key to everything: relativity and what's relative. That's about relate. That's about everything. That's the whole. If you understand relativity, hey, so nice talking to you guys. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for coming on. I've sent you that air. Uh Hackers Manifesto over Skype for you to read. It's, it's only one, it's only a little short paragraph, but I think you might like it. Fantastic. And uh, w what we're going to do is, if you don't mind, uh, we're going to send you a mask and a little something. Nice one. If we you give your details to an on online, then uh, I'll send the little thing I've got for you here, and uh, we'll get you a mask sent as well. Fantastic. Okay, we've got a little anon, a golden anon image here we can give you, and uh, say sort of like thanks for coming on board, you know, and sort of coming on the radio. I feel privileged. No, it's our privilege, mate. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Thank you for giving us your valuable time care, that you could be spending it with your family. You know, everybody out there appreciates it. We've got hundreds listening tonight, and they're all going nuts, and they they love you to death out there. So uh, <laughs> what this what mainly is to say, don't stop what you're doing. Keep doing it. Uh, thanks. No, hey, no. take care, everyone. All right, Mark, thank, thank you very much, mate. Take care. Take care. See ya. Right, so... And there you have it. That was the artist taxi driver. <laughs>